During the initial filling of the dam reservoir, a spring emerged downstream of the Rockfill Dam at coordinates elevation 1,005.75 m above mean sea level, coinciding with the reservoir's rise to elevation 1011 m. This hydrological anomaly, discovered on August 14, 2018, exhibited a unique clarity with 300-400 liters per minute seepage, suggesting a potential subterranean pathway through fractured rock. The spring's location, downstream of the right abutment outcrop, led to a detailed examination of the geological features. The 2010 geological mapping revealed less permeable graphite schist, acting as a natural barrier and complicating the genesis of the incident. The initial assessment raised questions about the seepage path's extent and nature, prompting a strategic two-phase grouting program. The grouting program, a proactive measure, aimed to reduce seepage through fractured rock, ensuring the long-term resilience of the dam. Geological logging, piezometer installations, and extensive grout curtain planning unfolded as a meticulous and multidisciplinary examination of the incident's complexities. The diversion tunnel, previously blocked for dam construction, revealed seepage near the tunnel plug and dam centerline at elevation 1002. Visual observations between stations 0 plus 460 and 0 plus 470 indicated seepages on tunnel walls with sand deposits, hinting at finds migration. Geologic logging extended to the diversion tunnel, providing insights into lithology, hole stability, and water losses. The supplemental grouting program schedule, influenced by drilling production, involved mobilizing two drill rigs for phase 1 and a potential third for phase 2. The drilling approach, predominantly below elevation 1009, utilized an upstage method. Instrumentation, including V-notch weirs and vibrating wire piezometers, played a crucial role in monitoring seepage and water pressures. The choice of drilling equipment, circulation strategy, and grouting materials were all carefully selected for optimal efficiency and effectiveness. Grout pressures, calibrated based on field conditions, guided the meticulous grouting operation in seven-meter stages. The adaptability of the engineer and comprehensive monitoring strategies ensured a dynamic response to evolving conditions, emphasizing the flexibility required in dam construction. The incident that transpired during the initial reservoir filling of the dam, marked by the emergence of a spring downstream of the Rockville Dam, unfolded as a complex and nuanced technical challenge, necessitating a comprehensive examination. As the reservoir elevation gracefully advanced from elevation 1,005.75 meters above mean sea level to elevation 1,011 meters above mean sea level at specific coordinates, a hydrological anomaly level. The upstage grouting method, adopted for efficiency, involved drilling in seven-meter long stages, with exceptions made when holes were unstable or as determined by the engineer. The drilling fluid circulation strategy became a critical aspect of the operation. If circulation was lost above the level of the reservoir, supplemental circulation water was to be added to the drill hole from the ground surface. This not only ensured the cooling of the drill bit but also facilitated the flushing of cuttings down the hole or to the surface. The choice of drilling equipment became a strategic decision. Rotary core drilling or small air rotary percussion drills were recommended, while the use of air percussion drilling using the Atlas Copco track drill was expressly prohibited due to its potential for damaging weaker rocks. Grouting materials, a cornerstone of the grouting program, were carefully chosen to match the specific conditions encountered below the reservoir level. Predominantly performed below L1009, grouting aimed to avoid washout risks. The contractor was directed to 